Because he just asked them to get a wide aisle. So we if you guys can, let Zach uh, come through, make a big wide aisle so we can walk through down there. Please let him through. Zach Sunderland. <laughs> hello, everybody. Congratulations. Uh, hello, everyone. My name is Gary Caloroso. I work for Salmon Williams Public Relations and Marketing. Uh, my uh, but I'm also the Chief Information Officer for the Westlake Nautical Foundation. And thank you guys so much for coming out uh, for this very historic day. Uh, today's uh, celebration of sailing history right here at uh, Fisherman's Village in uh, Marina del Rey, California. Thank you guys so much for coming. Today, uh, July 16th, uh, 2009, 17 year old Zach Sunderland of Thousand Oaks is the first person in the history of the world under the age of 18 to solo circumnavigate the globe. Zach is also the youngest person ever in the history of the world to do this. So he has, he's broken two records today. And in seeing that he's the first under the age of 18, that's a record that can never be taken away from him. It's, it's just like Roger Bannister when he broke the, uh, the, the four minute mile, that barrier, and that's and that Zach will always have. Right. Woo! There we go! At the, at the end of the day, age though is only a number. And the reason why I say that is because sometimes we forget that our young people are capable of doing something extraordinary, something special. And Zach, of course, is Maybe one of those extraordinary the, people and to do something that. like this. Um, and I think what we want to do before Zach and his family answer any questions are some folks that we want to recognize uh, first, because uh, they've been here as a support group for Zach throughout his entire journey. He left 13 months ago from Burton Chase Park, just on the other side of the water here. And so what we want to do is uh, start with uh, Reverend uh, Joe Schimmel to say a prayer as his... Uh, Oh, right here. We, here's Reverend Joe Schimmel, who was here for the launch and a strong spiritual advisor to the family. All right, hey, I just want to mention a couple things before we pray. Is uh, a couple weeks ago, Zach and his family been Zach, man, give me a hug. <laughs> hey, is this guy amazing, man? Let's give him yeah. a big hand. For a couple hours, I, I provide the chum line for all the fish. So, so Zach, my hats, our hearts are off for you all year long, beyond a year now, and then our, now our hats are off for you, man, because you've achieved something no one else has ever did, done. And we just thank God for you, man. God bless you, uh, Zach. A couple weeks ago, we had a message in our fellowship. Zach and his family have been part of the church for over 15 years, and and it was in Psalm 107 about a passage about what happens when somebody's at sea and the transformation that could take place. Uh, that can be wrought in their heart and uh, just a sea voyage. Uh, now when you think of that in the context of over, over a year by yourself, it takes on a whole new meaning. It says, 
And by the way, I want to mention this. As I went through this passage, Zach's mother, Marianne, came up to me after the service. She said, I just want to let you know that Zach committed this passage to memory as a little boy. And it's called the Sailor's Song. And it says, those who go down to the sea in ships, who do business on great waters, they have seen the works of the Lord and his wonders in the deep. For he spoke and raised up a stormy wind, which lifted up the waves of the sea. They rose up to the heavens, they went down to the depths. Their soul melted away in their misery. They reeled and staggered like a drunken man, and, they're, uh, and they were at their wit's end. It says, Then they cried to the Lord in their trouble, and he brought them out of their distresses. He caused the storm to still, that the waves of the sea uh, were hushed. Then they were glad because they were quiet. He guided them, he guided them to their desired haven. And it's awesome, Zach, you've come now to your desired haven. And it says, Let them give thanks to the Lord for his loving kindness and for his wonders to the sons of men. And since we've now, Zach's now voyaged to his uh, desired haven, it's time to give thanks. And uh, let's give thanks to the Lord. Father, we come before you in your son's name, and I think of the, the great things you've done in men at sea, Father. Whether it's John Newton who ran slave ships, Father, until the, a huge storm hit, and he was at his wit's end and cried out to you, and you transformed him into another man, whereby he quit running slaves, Father, and he wrote the song Amazing Grace. And Father, we thank you that we're at another time in history where Zach has uh, beat a record that never could be beat, Father, where he's, he's stuck it out, but he's dependent upon you, and you brought him to a safe haven, Father. I thank you for giving him parents like Lawrence and Marianne, Father, who, who love him so much and wouldn't have ever uh, condoned this voyage if they didn't know that there was somebody with him. That was you, Lord, this whole time. And I thank you for Zach's faith, Father, that He's mentioned that he's been praying and he's been seeking you and that you've been able to be his friend. And at the same time, Father, he's been able to achieve something that's never been achieved in the history of this planet. And we just thank you that you were with him when he circumnavigated the planet. And we thank you, Father, for the incredible reception. We thank you, Father, for all the new friends he's made along the way. We thank you, Father, that the only thing that'll triumph this reception is when he comes to your kingdom shores and he hears, well done, good and faithful servant. We pray this in your son's name. Amen. 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 Thank you very much. Now I'd like to bring up uh, Michael Brogy. He's the uh, CEO of the uh, Westlake Nautical Foundation, board member of the Westlake Yacht Club, which is the sponsoring yacht club uh, for the Sunderlands. They adopted the, uh, the Sunderlands. So let's bring up Michael Brogy. Thank you, Jerry. You know, it's a proud day for sailors all over the world to celebrate an incredible global achievement by one of our local boys from our neighborhood out in Thousand Oaks, Westlake area. We're so proud of Zach for what he's accomplished, not only for himself, but for all of us. And we sailed with you in spirit around the world. And he kept that spirit alive. And he's here today to celebrate with all of us. And on behalf of the Westlake uh, Yacht Club and the other yacht clubs in our community, the Santa Monica Windjammers, Delray Yacht Club, California Yacht Club. We're all in a national and international community of sailors that celebrate today. And when Zach was sailing around the world through his connection with Westlake Yacht Club, he got reciprocity, support from other yacht clubs in every port of call. And this is something our sailor community does for sailors around the world. It keeps them safe, keeps them provisioned, and keeps them out of harm's way. On behalf of the Westlake Yacht Club, I want to present to Zach Sunderland our Distinguished Sailor Award. This is the first time that this certificate has ever been awarded by our club. And part of this is in recognition to Zach Sunderland and that through our Nautical Foundation, we have established the Zach Sunderland Junior Sailing Scholarship. And this will go to fund young sailors who want to learn to sail. And on behalf of the yachting community, we want the general public to know that yachting is not an elitist sport. Sailing is for everyone. And it's a great family sport, and it teaches safety and responsibility. And Zach, you really represent the younger generation and the future of sailing. Yep. So in your name, we will be giving out scholarships every year from our club to encourage young sailors.
You did it! <laughs> now, we're not quite done. There is something that we feel a responsibility as the Westlake...